Welcome to Atlanta Home Theater. Scott, Jennifer, hey, how you doing? Hey. Good, Lucas, how are you? I'm doing really Good great. You know, today we've got designing spaces with us, Excellent. and I can't wait to just have everyone see your showroom and even see one of the homes you've been working on for a few years. But before we get there, why don't you introduce who you are and what you do? Atlanta Home Theater is a home theater, home automation, home entertainment company. We're mostly known for our global installations across the United States and in seven other countries. Well, I think what we're most excited about is right there over your shoulder. This is here. called a multi-sport semi-theater because <laughs> you can do golf, you can do soccer, archery, hockey, you can do laser shot. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. Why don't you show us other cool things that we can do in our home. Excellent, let's go. Okay, so we're standing in one of the many theaters at the Atlanta Home Theater uh, showroom, and we're gonna try to capture some of the details and decisions that went into designing this. Behind this 200 inch screen, we have three seven foot tall, $40,000 a piece speakers, and two refrigerator sized subwoofers laying down under the screen. There's a surround speaker behind every panel, and there are speakers in the ceiling across the coffers. Jennifer, the theater is obviously a very important part of one's home. What do you do in your design process? This theater is unique because it actually submerges down into the ground. We dug down to create a stadium seating experience so that guests have the feeling of submerging down into a theater experience. We wanted to create a mood of a castle or a royal feeling, but also make it cozy. So of course, Atlanta Home Theater even spends the time to design the theater entrance. Why is that? Why do you spend uh, time pouring over these details? A home theater entrance is the beginning of the home theater experience. And this particular entrance is mystical and fantastical. It started as a, a small clay sculpture and was reproduced from a 3D printer to create the beyond, which is the name of the theater. You want to see something cool? I would love to. Oh. But you cannot see it yet. Sorry. This is reserved for a later reveal. Well, thank you so much, Scott and Jennifer. That was a real treat. Now, you've also been talking about this special client project for a few years now, and it's five years, five years and it's finally come to conclusion. So could we please go check that out? We'd love to share it to you. All right, let's go let's do it. Go. Jennifer, I can already tell that this room is gonna feel and look different than the rest of the house that we just walked through, and that's by the door. So can you tell me kind of what went into the design of this door? In this case, we needed to find a transition from an antique environment into a completely different eclectic environment. The size and grandeur of the door, which is fashioned of common walnut with a wax shellac, tells you there's something pretty special on the other side. And it begins with these antique, amazing handles. And then as you transition into this environment, you begin to see contemporary shapes and design here. This theater is Art Deco meets neoclassical. It has a lot of interesting elements that blend. One is that it's rustic. It has an industrial feel and also some natural elements. And its overall tone is sort of fashioned to be masculine, representing the caliber of the system that's in here and the power. But it also has fine fabrics, crushed silk and, and gold leafing to add those feminine high notes. This sophisticated curtain pops with the color of the acoustic panels. It's made of crushed silk with fine fringe. And when it is down, it actually looks like it will draw, but it rises and collapses like an Australian shade. This is rare onyx. It's backlit with LED lights to add additional ambiance in the room and refined edge on one side with a natural edge on the other, again, bringing together the old and the new. 
tell me about these seats. It's a great segue because these don't look like normal leather seats. These are fortress seats, custom designed to the client's color and liking. Uh, they do have illuminated cup holders and each is fashioned with a pillow that represents every family member. This divine acoustic panel features a kind of eggplant purple three-dimensional fabric that's playful and contemporary. It meets up with torched bronze, which is set in the millwork of an actual frame taken from an art gallery. So Scott, I know we're just scratching the surface with the design elements, but why don't you tell me something about the, the technology side of the room we're sitting in? Due to the size of the room, we weren't required to put quite as much power and speaker size into this theater as we were at the design center, but the performance is absolutely the same. The theater isn't the only room in this house that's smart. Okay, Scott, so you've told me that this house can adapt to the owner's needs from the door locks and the lights and the shades, which sounds cool, but it also sounds complicated. Uh, see, that's the point of an automation system, is to make sure that everything is as simplistic as it can possibly be. Okay. So when you come into the house, the instructions should be nothing more than, here's your system, show me how to operate it. So if I want you to change the thermostat, what okay. would you do? I, I would guess I would tap comfort. That's correct. Here. This is the first time I'm seeing this. That's correct. And here we go, every zone of the house, you've got a different thermostat. You can control the theater that is from correct. up here. Everywhere in the house. That's incredible. What is it? How do you like it? It's great, Grandpa! The end? No, it's just the beginning. For more information about Atlanta Home Theater, visit atlantahometheater.com. And of course, visit us at designingspaces.tv.